Hey everyone, Miguel Quiles here, and in this video, I'll show you how to tether your Sony Alpha Series camera with Lightroom. All right, welcome back everyone. A couple of things before we get started here. Now, the steps that I'm gonna be showing you today, these are for use with the latest version of Lightroom. I was using Lightroom 4 prior to this, and for whatever reason, they just don't update Lightroom 4 to recognize the files on uh, these Sony cameras. So uh, you will need to make sure that you have Lightroom 5, and I actually downloaded the version that I'm using right now as a trial version, and it's Lightroom 5.7.1. And of course, I'm on a uh, Windows PC, as you can see. Um, these steps should be pretty similar to what you would do on a Mac. Um, haven't tried it out, but uh, I presume it'll be very, very similar. So anyway, before we get this thing going, let's go ahead and make sure that the camera is set up correctly. And so what you're gonna wanna do is to go into your camera menu and go into the uh, toolbox icon, which is the uh, icon all the way over to the right. And then you're going to want to search for the USB connection option and make sure that that is set to PC remote. Okay, so now that your camera is set up correctly, what you're going to need to do is to go to the uh, Sony website and download the remote camera control software. And so the link is uh, posted in the description for this video. You can also just Google search it and you'll find it that way as well but the remote camera control software, you must have this in order to tether. So make sure that you download this. This isn't like an optional thing. <laughs> so download the software. In this case, I've already done that. Have it located here on my desktop. And then the next step is gonna be to connect your Alpha Series camera. And I'm going to be using the Sony a7 II for this particular demo. So I'm plugging the a7 II into my computer using the USB cable that came with it. So now that I have it plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the camera. And of course, the computer recognizes the camera. And then the next step is going to be to turn on the remote camera control software. So bring this thing over here. And this dialog box might pop up here, select which device to use. So of course, make sure you're selecting the ILCE 7M2, hit OK. And if it's connected and if it's working, you're gonna see this little box here that has all the information. And this corresponds to the settings that are actually on my camera, so you'll know that it's actually working. So the next step is gonna be go down to this little box down here in this little save in category and you're going to want to set a folder where all of the images are going to go into once you shoot them so i've already set up a folder i named it sony tethering test and of course you can just click this here and you can set up your folder and that will be all set and ready to go so now that this is working we have our folder set up we're going to go ahead and start up lightroom and again, I'm using the trial version of Lightroom 5, so uh, should just start up for you if you own the software. Okay, so Lightroom is on, and I've already set up a catalog here, uh, but if you are starting this fresh, you can create a new catalog by going up to File and New Catalog name it whatever it is that you want and so once you have your catalog set up you're gonna go down to auto import and then auto import settings now in this little dialog box when you first open it up this is probably turned off but um, so I'll just have it turned off here for the moment but the watched folder is what you're gonna to want to set up so this watch folder you're gonna hit choose and you're going to select the exact same folder that you set up here in the remote camera control application. This is a very uh, key step because again, if it's it's watching the images that are being dumped into this folder. So this software is dumping it into this folder 
and then Adobe Lightroom is watching that folder for any new images that are coming in and that's what's going to be displayed in the software. So make sure that those two folders are the same. Uh, I set the destination as the exact same folder so you could do whatever you want there with that. Um, enable auto import. You want to make sure that is turned on and then we'll just hit OK. And so at this point everything should be ready to go. Uh, just as a double check I'll go back to file auto import and you see that it is checked it does say auto import so we're good. So I've got my camera set up here next to me on a table and I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture and let's see if it's actually going to uh, tether and send the photo over. So let's try this out. All right, so I just took the picture and waiting a few moments here for it to transfer over. And success. So there we go. Uh, picture has been brought into Lightroom. You could see the settings just like you would, you know, any other image from any other camera. Uh, you can make adjustments to this. So you can change your white balance to whatever you want. Um, essentially, you could do whatever you want to these images just like you would with uh, files coming off of any other camera. But you have to make sure, again, that you're using Lightroom 5 because uh, I tried doing this exact same thing with Lightroom 4. And if you have older versions, you're out of luck. It's not going to work. But yeah, so there you go. Hopefully that will help you guys out with uh, getting your tethering set up with these cameras. And again, this works with the A7, A7R, the original A7, A7 Mark II, uh, <laughs> pretty much any of the Alpha series, the A6000, they all work. So yeah, so hopefully that helps you all out. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of new tutorials and videos that are going to be coming out over the next few weeks. Um, a lot of lighting videos and uh, just general uh, videos that might help you guys take better photos in the future. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you click the like, but like button. I can't even talk today. <laughs> click the like button. Yeah, because that will also help me out to make videos like this in the future. Uh, leave your comments. I'm also pretty good about responding to comments. So if you have any questions uh, and it's something that I can help with, then uh, I'll reply back to you. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will check you guys out later. Happy shooting.